What's up, y'all? So, I haven't done a video in a very long time. And I feel like, I don't know, right now, I feel like I'm going through a lot. I mean, I've been going through a lot for pretty long right now, a couple months. But, like, right now, I mean, I'm getting hit pretty hard. And I guess I've been learning. I've been doing some personal development. And I've been learning that, you know, when you feel like you're going through a lot, it's it's always important to remember that there's other people out there who are going through the same thing or even worse things and you know it might help if you attempt to not focus too much on yourself and you know try to help other people so that's what I'm really attempting to do with this you know just kind of stop feeling like a victim or feeling pitiful pitiful for myself and just you know focus on the fact that there's other people out there who may need you know, the same type of assistance or, or different. So that's basically what it is. And I, I'm doing my best to kind of like treat this, these uh, videos or, you know, these vlogs of more like a diary type of thing. You know, maybe it will actually, and maybe me helping somebody else or other people will in turn help myself also. So that's basically what I'm doing with this. And I mean, for anybody that is going through you know, whatever it is, I, I, I could go into more details about what I'm feeling right now. You know, I'm, I'm going through relationship issues and that's, a, you know, when I think about it, it's a pretty common problem. But, you know, even though it's common when, you, when you're the one that's feeling it, I mean, it feels like it feels unique to you and it feels like your situation is worse than everybody else's. You know, that's going to happen no matter what the situation is. So, yeah, it's a very common thing. And I don't know. I just want to see if I can help anybody. And I mean, I've learned a lot while going through these things. I'm not going to lie. And even if these things are self-inflicted, you know, with these issues that you're going through, even if, if, if it's your fault, it doesn't really matter whose fault it is. The first thing is you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself and you have to be present for that pain. Whatever that thing is, you can't, like me, I used to, I don't smoke. I really don't drink right now. Like very rarely I drink so little, that's almost none. And I do not smoke at all. I don't do any type of drugs or any type of vices like that. And I don't have any escape from how I'm feeling, <laughs> you know? And as as tough as that sounds, I, I do recommend that for anybody who's going through any, uh, whatever their issue is, you know, to to be present for whatever you're feeling because you're feeling it for a reason and it's supposed to teach you something and you're going to grow from all this, you know. You're going to grow from all of this. So you want to make sure that you are present for whatever you're feeling. Don't try to escape. If you're going to escape, maybe do something like this, you know, something productive something of maybe try to help other people or you know some type of self-development or go harder in your job or your business or whatever it is that you do i mean there you want to be present you don't want to distract yourself too much but there are positive ways of how to distract yourself you know so at least you'll be progressing in a different area while you're going through whatever you're going through because i mean your future self will definitely appreciate that do not run from it and forgive yourself and just learn from whatever you're going through, man, you know, and like going forward, you won't make the same mistakes. You know, a lot of times we in life, we want a lot of things and we may want things you've never had before, you know, and it, discipline is so very important because when you are working hard and you're working smart and you're actually every day working towards whatever that you actually want, it's guaranteed that eventually you will start to achieve these things. And being that it's something that you've never had before, it may, nine times out of 10, it's gonna, it's gonna affect you. It's gonna change how you are. It's gonna like make you, may get less disciplined. It may make you start doing different things than what you actually were doing to start achieving certain things. That happened with me. Like, you know, I feel like I come from a very humble background. And when I actually started to get somewhere is when my ego started to kick in and I started to get like cocky and I started to feel like I can I feel like I started to feel like I could do no wrong that will happen when you start to really 
get somewhere. You're going to start to feel like, yo, whatever you do is going to work out and it's it's going to it's going to get somewhere and that's not necessarily the case. When you start to achieve and get the things you want, you have to also focus on being disciplined so you do not lose these things faster than you got them. You could lose these things, you could lose yourself, you could you could go into a worse situation. A lot of things can happen. It's like this, think about it. It takes 9 months for a baby to be born. It has to be in the mother's belly, develop and be ready to be birthed. Nine months to create life. But somebody could die in one second. It just takes a split second to destroy everything that took so long to build. So you have to be very mindful of what you are doing when you start to get the things you want. You have to stay disciplined. You got to keep that fire going. You got to act like you're not getting anything. You got to act like you still at square one. And it's going to be very hard, especially the first time you start making significant progress is going to hit you so hard not most people have to learn the hard way including myself you know like there may be, there may, may be certain things that you wanted for years good and bad that you felt like you couldn't achieve and when you started to actually achieve these things you're gonna want to focus on the good things cockiness and ego i don't know how it is for for women but i know for men when we start to get certain to certain levels we start to get that power that you know whatever we've been wanted it can really turn us into into monsters or you know it could turn us into self-destructive beings so we gotta we gotta buckle down man and i've I like to say that i learned a lot of lessons some stuff i'm still learning one thing i did learn is to avoid devices when avoid devices like you know negative things while you're going through pain or whatever negative or whatever it is stay away from the drugs do your best to stay away from the alcohol don't let it be really an issue and i'm still working on alcohol myself like i rarely drink like i said it's very rare but i'm not gonna lie and say i don't do that all but it's it's very minuscule you know and I, that's like i know i'm pretty progressive and pretty i'm able to get a lot of stuff done but i know even if, if i was out completely off alcohol i would most likely get even more done so just know everything you do affects you and it affects the people around you and you want to go through the pain you want to go through the pain and feel it because you don't want the people around you to go through the pain somebody gotta feel that pain somebody gotta go through that discipline and if if it's not you it's gonna be your people it may be your loved ones your children spouse mother father brother siblings whatever the case is you got to be the one to go through these things so that's all i really got to say man you know i just want to come on here and talk and just release because i feel like we sometimes we we we, we victimize you know and I, I don't want that's how i was able to even got to where i was when i you know when i was progressing a lot i just i wasn't the victim and i may have made improper decisions with my success and it's caused me to feel like a victim again but i don't want to feel that way so i'm just going to come on here more often and help as many people as i can because we're all connected and a lot of us are going through the same things and that's how you really continue to progress is to help other people so that's basically it stay away from the vices when you start to achieve your success do not let it get to you Act like you are still at square one. Keep that fire burning for as long as possible. Set yourself up so that just in case something negative happens, that you will not fall too far. And even if you do fall far, even if you lose everything, it doesn't matter. Because you are the same person and you're actually not even the same person. You're a better person now because you have did it once before. You know what to do. So you can always build it back. Don't be afraid. Start over. But do your best not to have to. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. Let's just keep it going. I am so grateful for anybody who this is reaching. I'm so grateful for you. I, I want the best for you, honestly. I want the best for myself. I want the best for everybody because we all need it and we, we all deserve. We all deserve better. But we have to earn it. We deserve it, but we have to earn it. That's how you really get it. That's how you really deserve it. So let's do what we got to do. I really love everybody who's hearing this right now. 
let's do our best. Let's love our people. Let's love ourselves. And let's, let's do what we got to do to live an amazing life in this existence. There's nothing else. Help as much people as we can and just get closer to God. Let's go. Let's do it.